Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, this is a very impromptu, um, spur of the moment decision to film. Ignore all the clothes. Um, I'm in the middle of switching out summer to fall and winter and it, there is a mess behind me. <laughs> so just, I, I know you can see like a lot of stuff back there. And of course you can see my hand clothes in that rack back there, but I hope that it's okay. And you really don't care that much about the background because I would uh, like to talk to you guys for a little while while I finish up my makeup. I have already done my eyes. Um, for the most part I used, um, I'll just show you what I used. Okay. So I have these two bite size palettes from, um, elf. And so what I did is I went in with this color from the, um, this is the cream and sugar and it's broken. So I went in all over it. Well, that's not true. I have been really enjoying this pretty vulgar eyeshadow base. Um, it's really good. I like it a lot because it's sticky. Um, it really causes that base um, shadow that I put on to stick in good and it prevents a lot of the oily creases and things like that. So I went in with that and then I just took just a fluffy brush, something like that, you know, and I went all over with this one. And then I went into my truffle, upside down. <laughs> I went into my truffle. I combined these two through the crease and I just blew it out really strong. I uh, darkened up my outer corner with this, the outer V with this. I used my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I used just a little flat brush and I just kind of carved out the, I didn't really cut a crease, but I did carve out that little um, inner third of my eyeball. And then I went in with this color here. Um, it does not, I don't think these have individual names. They don't. It's just the glittery one in truffles. Um, so I went in with that on the inside on top of the shadow insurance. And then I needed a cool tone because this is a cool tone palette. And um, I knew that that first color was going to get covered up anyway. So I went into my old fashioned <laughs> rock palette and I went on to my um, brow bone with this color called Rose. It's a little bit um, cooler tone than some of the other shadows that I have. I have a tremendous amount of um, cool tone things, but I don't do a whole lot of cool tone. Um, I have a mirror right here in front of me, one right over there, and then I have this viewfinder. So um, I'm going to do my, my best to um, look in the right direction. It's been a while and I'm rusty. So anyway, I did that. Then I used the um, Galactic. It's just fit for my... Um, my eyeliner i just do an you know my eyeliner on the top lid i don't wing it out because my eye shape is it sucks i've got you know really heavy um lids and so it's hard for me to get a straight wing and so i just went across and i actually put lashes on the lashes that i put on were just some demi wispies from ardell and i have to use the um latex free let me see. I don't even know what I did with it, but I use the latex. Here it is. I use the latex free because I'm allergic to latex. This one is from NYX. Um, but if you have a latex allergy, you can definitely find them. They're on the market. You just have to kind of Google around, but that particular one is from NYX and I've had it for a really long time. I almost didn't get open because it was so long. I haven't done lashes guys. And I mean, like I honestly don't remember when, and I do need to work on my brows obviously, but before I do, I'm going to go in with my cream bronzer and I thought I'd just pick up from here. Um, like I said, this is a very last minute kind of video. This is the, uh, physician's formula. It's messy. It's so dirty. <laughs> this is the organic wear sculpting bronzer with jojoba oil. And, um, it looks like this or whatever. And you can see the product. I just go in like this right here, like that right underneath my jawbone so that I can kind of, you know, work with this. I'm going to, today I'm going to try using, um, this is, uh, I mean, I've had this brush for a really long time, but this is the first time I'm going to use it. Um, this is just the e.l.f. contouring brush. You can see, um, I usually use like, I've got the real techniques, but it's been blowing it out a little too much for me. I'm trying to get it to be just a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna look this way um, while I kind of blend this out and up. But um, 
So I wasn't planning on doing any video today, but I have abandoned my videos on this channel and I'm really, really behind on my planner channel. So what I decided I needed to do, I don't know if I like the way this is going. I'll tell you what I can do though. I've done this before. Um, if it gets too far down, I just take a cotton round. I pull some of it off like that right there. And then I blend again. The problem is that it has been getting a little too far down for my taste. And like I said, I, I've had this brush for a really long time, but you see how it's just too stark. That helps. It's becoming muddy for some reason. I don't know if it's the, um, could be my skincare, but I use this, um, like every day. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift, um, Hyaluronic Acid. Oh my God, I love that stuff. So, let me see if I can, it may be that this is just too precise for me because I'm not used to such a stark yeah, this is not doing what it normally does. <laughs> okay, so let's take some of it off. So, I have not been filming for a couple of reasons. Um, some of the reason is that I have really gone through a rough point in my life. I'm going to use this one that I usually use. There's something about being able to use the circular motions that makes it smoother. And that way it's not just like this stripe. See how far down it comes? And that's what I don't really care for. Yeah, way too far. So, I've been going through a lot, guys. So, um, as many of you know, um, I was engaged. And um, we started having trouble getting along. Um... I mean, I know what the cause was. I, I, it's not like, you know, it was a surprise or anything. Kind of saw it coming. Um, but it's never easy, though, you know, when you have a breakup. And that's what happened. <laughs> so, um, before we actually went our separate ways, um, he did ask me for the ring back, and I gave it back to him. Now, I had given him the ring twice myself because of either a fight or I just was done, you know? And then this time he asked me for it. And so it was, you know, um, it was just one of those things. It was in the heat of an argument, but I told him I would never take it back. Then I, I mean, I told him it was, it had to be cursed. But anyway, so, um, okay. I'm finally getting that to be sort of decent. See, it's hard. I have this, uh, redness on my cheeks that my son got from me. <laughs> And so, it just gets redder when I'm moving my brush along. Okay, I'm going to put those away, and I will come back to that shortly. Okay, um, while, let me throw that in the trash. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I've already used um, my um, Too Faced Concealer. I just put a dot underneath here um, on top of one of the... Um, the Smashbox Orange Pencil because my I, I had a migraine all day yesterday and it's kind of hurt me today. Um, so, I was like super dark and puffy, you know. But that's what I've done. I've already done that much. Now, it's time for me to go in with my makeup. And what I've been using, and I just love, especially for right now, during the summer weather. You guys probably know what I'm going to say. It's my Makeup Forever um, Powder Foundation. I love this stuff. I've dropped it and broken it. I mean, it's just, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to give up on it because I just love it so much. So anyway, um, I'm just going to be looking at the mirror while I talk. Um, so, oh, and if you do buy this, make sure you use the black side for, um, application. The white side does not work. And it tells you that on the package, but you know, just an FYI in case you miss it. Um, so, we continue to have some issues. We have 
really serious core belief issues that were just not compatible. And so it, it was an issue. We know that it was an issue and we were aware of it, but we were trying, you know, to kind of meet in the middle somewhere. But it just wasn't, it wasn't working, guys. We're just too far apart there. Um, and, you know, as bad as I hate it, we just, we're not compatible enough to be together long term. And I think I've learned a few things about myself over the last two or three weeks because it's been that long. And I've not been filming. I've not been doing much of anything because my motivation has just sucked, you know? So, um, you know, I tried. I really tried. I really, really tried. And I did bring this down because I have the melasma under my chin area, which is just a skin discoloring. You can see it. Um, I do bring it down just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Um, I'm just real careful when I'm putting on something, you know, like a top or something that I don't, you know, rub it against my face or neck. So, but, um, and you can see that I'm kind of avoiding the cream area because I'm going to set that with an actual bronzer, powder bronzer. And that's really all I'm doing for my face. Um, let me put this down <clears throat> and get my next product. I have just been in love with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Mine's in the color Sunset Strip Tease. I'm putting a heart on it. <laughs> And this is my hourglass brush that I always use for contour. I just like the shape of it, and I like the way how it's really, really soft and how good it feels. So, um, I'm just going to go on top of that and kind of, it'll help get rid of any muddiness or any skipping, you know, anything like that. Just enhances it, but sets it at the same time. So, that's what I really like about this brush. See how much smoother that is now? Makes a difference. But, yeah, we were trying really hard to meet in the middle, but things were just, maybe a hair. Things were just too, too far apart for us, and we had some things that we were really beginning to become resentful about, you know? And that's never good. So, um, there was an incident that occurred, and there's no point going into that, but... Needless to say, it was the, uh, I'm going to just say that, sorry, I was trying to put a thing away. Um, that, I believe, is what was the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say. Um, you know, I just, uh, I, I broke up with him, and I told him he needed to leave, and, um, so he did. He took everything that he had contributed to our home here. <laughs> he took all his stuff and I kept mine and I stayed here and he left. And it's not the first time he's left. It's not the first time that I've told him he needs to go on somewhere. Um, but I knew this time was final. I knew it was. Um, there was, I like to go across the bridge of my nose just a little bit because it gives me almost that like fresh sun kiss look. So I just kind of, oh, and I'm using my hourglass blush. It's in the color ambient light. But I like to kind of go across my bridge of my nose just a little bit. So it looks like I've had a little sun, especially since it's still summertime. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all about this pumpkin spice lattes and stuff, but it is still summer. <laughs> and so I just get it iced instead that way I don't it don't burn me up so um yeah I knew this time I, I knew I knew that was gonna be it I knew that that was gonna be you know like the final straw the the absolute final I'm going in with my Maybelline brow precise um I probably need to sharpen it yeah I've got my makeup forever sharpener here so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a sharpen. It doesn't need much, just a little, because I do like it to be a little bit flat on the tip. You see that? Because I need, like, width on my brows. So, let me see. I'll use, I've got a broken mirror here. Well, 
it's not broken it's the handle is broken the handle is broken off of it so I'm just gonna use this to work on my brows while I talk so um I just always start at the front like most people do I just kind of give myself a little fullness right there at the front you can see how much then I go on top of or right at the base of the brow hair to start filling in and then I go up and go across the top and yeah it looks pretty savage right now but it's a really good creamy product and it's really easy to work with so all I do is just go in now with my spoolie run it through there and it really smooths out because I don't like a strong brow at all I think I look crazy with a with a strong brow so okay now that's how I get started and then from there that's sort of like the base work and then I start really working on it so I need to put some product right here where I've got some gapping. And I just keep going until it's even and filled in. And I do use, um, I still use the NYX Brow Mascara. Um, I still use that. <laughs> um, I like it, I don't see any reason to change it. Um, yes, my hair is blonde. It does have some red in it so the one that I use is the brunette color um, and this is just brown it just says br uh, what color does it actually say it says soft brown <laughs> but you can see there I don't really do a whole lot with my brow bring that front up just a little bit And that's what I do. Yeah, that's really all there is to it, guys. <laughs> so let me go in with this other one. So, um, many of you know that I am have a chronic illness. I have a lot of issues that go along with that. But with the stress of everything, I have been having migraines more often than normal. So... I had one yesterday and it, it wouldn't go away um, usually I can take like over-the-counter medications or um, I can take a, you know a dose of Imatrix because my pain specialist does provide me with that for migraines since I have such a history with them um, and so usually I can take it, you know, a couple of things over the counter and then in about an hour take an Imatrex and it's gone. But I couldn't get it to go away yesterday. Um, I did get to take a shower yesterday. I mean, legit, I, I, that's, that was all I was able to get done yesterday. I was so, I was hurting so bad. I couldn't get it to go away. And so um, my eyeballs were blood red. Um, underneath here was even worse than it is right now, and that's saying a lot. Um, and, I mean, because I don't think they could get any worse than that right now, but you see how, like, when I look up straight, they kind of disappear a little bit. At least that one, this one's really dark. It, but, you know, it's funny because when I have migraines, they always start right here in this part of my head on this side. And usually it starts here and goes down into my temple area and then back. And usually I try to catch it, but if, you know, I'm away from home and I don't have anything, then, you know, then the whole top of my head starts and then it's just like, it goes down from there. So, um, you know, I, uh, I broke out with this issue of, um, trying to see if this is decent. Um, going back to the migraines, you know, that's, that's starting again. And I know it's because of stress and it's because I am 
grinding my teeth at night and so my jaws are sore from you know biting down and it's just been really stressful lately and because of that i've not had the motivation to get in front of the camera um i've not had the motivation to do a lot of things and it's kind of sad because even though I really want to do things. I just, my heart is not there to do it. And I had made a really strong attempt at a comeback on my other channel. Um, I was putting out content, you know, a couple of times a week. I was trying really hard. And it just, th you know, things in life happen. And gosh, all my packing bags and my shoes and everything. Okay, I'm going in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and this amazing brush from Milani. Oh my God, I love it. It is the All Over Blending is what it's called, but it's just almost identical to my Anastasia um, A23 or whatever that one is that I use for highlight. I just go across these like that. And then I go in right on the top here. And I've been kind of going in hard with highlight lately. There's something about that dewy look that I've been really enjoying. So I've just been going all over. I do like to go up on my temple just a little bit. And then um, the other side. I just try to blend it as much as I can while I'm applying. And then I go back in with my powder brush brush and make sure that everything is kind of blended you know I just like having a little bit of light on top of my brow there it gives me a little bit more of a prominent brow without doing a whole lot of color okay you see my little nose but look guys is that not pretty I think it's so pretty I just love it and I just like the the all over look um, of how it ends up looking. Okay, so let me think. What am I gonna do next? What do I do next, guys? I, I I'm I've been putting makeup on every day, but at the same time, I'm so out of practice. I don't even know what step is next. But I know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go in with my brow mascara. I'm gonna go in with my um. Let's see, I'm gonna use, this is new and I really, really like it. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof. This is new to me. Um, it's in, of course, you know, black. I'm going to put that on my lashes just to blend in my lashes with the falsies that I have on, which are so cute and fluttery. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Let me, back to what I was saying. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, just, Go across make sure there's not anything loose flying around on the surface of my skin just like that okay then I'm going to go in with the brow mascara let me get my let me get my mirror again so I'm going on a dinner date with him tonight we have some things that we need to discuss or whatever um, and just because we're not together anymore and just because, you know, um, we can't live together doesn't mean that we want to totally be away from each other, but yet we're not in or going to be in a relationship, but we do want the best for each other. Um, the hair on that brow there's a couple of it, it almost looks like you know the, how people will take a razor and they'll like cut an actual line in their brows I don't it's got some kind of meaning I don't know what it is but anyway it looks like mine naturally has that I have like a, a line right here and I have a line right here and I have one that's sort of right here but it's just not as bad as the other two <laughs> but anyway that is that that's as good as it's going to get for my brows. Um, so anyway, we are going to dinner tonight. Um, we're just going to go up the street to um, eat some Mexican. 
no big deal. Um, practice social distancing. We, we were practicing that. <laughs> um, you know, they, they, you can only sit ever six, so many people. And so they're doing, you know, pretty good with that or whatever there. And so we're going to go there and um, see about getting some food. Um, and so, I, you know, I was sitting here and I was doing my makeup. I was watching YouTube videos and I was just like, you know, I could go ahead and um, film me putting on the rest of my makeup just to talk to you. I want you to know that I'm alive. <laughs> I am alive. Let me see. I'm going to use this. This is a, it's by Lavish. Come in a boxy charm. I'm just going to use this spoolie in case I need to clean up my mascara somewhere. Um, so, I'm just going to put a little bit, you know, underneath the top and then on the bottom. And I have to have waterproof because if I don't, um, I just sweat too much, have too much, um, there's too much heat, I sweat and everything comes off. And I do trim these lashes down. I do trim them down um, because my eyes are not as wide. So I always, you know, clip off the smallest little clump on the outside of the edge, my outside edge. Yeah. But um, all this does is it makes my lashes black just like the lashes that I have on, which gives me a little bit fuller look. And this corner is beginning to lift off naturally. That's okay though. Um, I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit. Okay, I may go back and fix that later. I'm not gonna put my bottom lashes um, mascara on till after I sprayed my face. So I'm still using either, this is the Scandinavia I love. I'm out of my Wet n Wild Coconut flavored uh, setting spray, scented, not flavored. <laughs> and then um, I have my Smashbox. I tend to use that, you know, um, on a heavier day um, before, you know, I start setting everything down. Um, and I also, of course, okay, Urban Decay, All Nighter, um, the Wet n Wild I use, and I use Skin and Navy, and I just, this is the one I've grabbed, so I'm going to spray my face really good. Yep, that's what I do. And then, I try to get it off my lips. Because I don't care what kind of setting spray you use. It all tastes bad. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I am, um, I gave up a lot to move here. And I took a big step moving somewhere with someone. And it has not worked out. And I hate that. I really do. At the same time, though, sometimes you just have to, you know, um, yeah, you got to do what you know is best for you. And... Um, sometimes that means you got to make a hard decision and I had to make a hard decision and I'm dealing with it. Um, I am dealing with it, but, I, uh, I know it's going to take me a little bit. You know what I'm saying, guys? Just going to need a minute. And I know you're probably like, well, damn Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you've already had a minute, but you know, everybody heals and deals with things in their own way at, or in their own time. And, um, I'm one of those that seems to take a little bit longer, <laughs> but I mean, you know, um, I'm in a good place mentally. Um, sure. I'm sad. Sure. I'm disappointed. Sure. I wish I hadn't turned out that way, but see, I hate that. Let it dry just a minute. But yeah, so, you know, I just, um, I know that it's one of those situations that it's part of life. You got to move on. You got to do your thing and all that. I'm trying to get everything ready because I got to flat iron my hair. 
So, put that there. This there. Hang on, let me get myself set up. Okay, hot iron is uh, heating. And I just got through drying my hair and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and I just, you know, I used a round brush, but I pulled it straight instead of, you know, leaving it curly or, you know, crazy. <laughs> but I'm just going to get it separated like that right here. I'm going to use just a touch of hairspray. I've been using the Instant Freeze Hairspray 24-Hour Extreme Hole from Aussie. I've been using I really like it, actually. But I'm just going to put just a little bit on the tips because it is humid here. So, let me get my brush. Pitiful little brush that I've just about worn out. It's time for me to buy another brush because I have just about worn this one out. But I'm just going to comb through it the one time. And then I'll comb through it as I work on it. So I hope you guys are doing well. I, there's so many people, it seems like. I know this is going to sound really weird, but on either channel, I've been getting subscribed to channels that I didn't subscribe to. And I have noticed that there are some channels that you're either not uploading or I'm not subscribed anymore. <laughs> and that's not me. I promise it's not me. I, I mean, like, I don't know. But, um, and, and I know it may be distracting for y'all for me to be looking here or whatever, but I'm trying to see what I'm doing, especially since I got a hot tool in my hands. But, um, yeah. So, um, anyway, this is, uh, new to me. This is the Ion One Stroke. I got it at Sally Beauty. It's got the on button is inside right here. And then you've got the temperature. I've got it set on 400. Um, that's plenty um, enough for me, for my hair, because I use really small strips of uh, my hair. I don't, you know, I don't go try to go in with a really thick, you know, and hold it on there. I don't do that because even though it takes a little bit longer to separate it out, my hair doesn't get burned as a result. So, and I do have to go up to the scalp, you know, It's uh, in really good shape right now, and it is looking pretty good as far as, you know, um, just colored, and I've been flat ironing it. So, actually, I think it looks pretty good considering, you know. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that you can try and forgive me um, for what's going on. And... I hope that you can understand that on both channels, I'm really just not motivated to do much of anything. I've done a couple of diamond painting videos because they're easy. It doesn't require a lot of um, any kind of editing much because um, I'm just freely talking. And, and, you know, unless I do something wrong and I cuss, I don't have to really do much, you know, as far as <laughs> just editing out things or whatever. But, um... Yeah, it's just been really, really, really hard for me lately. And I, I'm trying to, to move along, you know. I'm trying to um, keep going steady, Eddie and all that. But, guys, I mean, the fact of the matter is that I've gone through a huge life change. And now, because of that life change, I'm stuck here in this little town that I moved to for him away from all of my family. And so, now I've got to think about, you know, the fact that not only am I single in a place that I don't know really that much about, because all of the people we hung out with were his friends. So, I mean, you know, that sucks. Um, but, I've been making some friends on my own. Um, Uh-oh. Let's pull that back over here. Um, I've, I've made a couple of friends here, um, and my landlord, uh, she is super sweet. We, I've, you know, been over to her house and hung out with her a couple of times. Really sweet lady. Um, sweet as she can be. 
And um, yeah, so, you know, I, I've been trying to step out, you know, and I guess you could say make the best of it, you know. Um, if I had the choice, you better believe that I would move back to Birmingham in a heartbeat. And that's because I really just want to be with my son. I hate the fact that, you know, I'd be moving away from my parents because that was the reason I moved down here to begin with. But it's just not been a good experience for me. And because it's not been a good experience, I just want to go home. I just really want to go home. Um, you know, yeah, it's great to be able to make those friends and everything, but guys, I just miss my boy. I really do. I miss my son. And it just seems like I'm not going to be happy until I get back to Birmingham and I get back to um, my life there. I really do. I understand very much so now that the um, moving here was a big mistake. But at the time, I thought it was a good idea. Now I've learned, you know, I mean, we're never too, you know that saying, we're never too old to learn. I truly believe that if you think you're too old to learn anything, then you're just as stupid as you could ever be because we all need to continue to learn in our life. You know, our experiences make us who we are. And I think that's very important, you know. And so right now, I'm sad, I'm unmotivated, and I'm just going through the process of dealing with what I've dealt myself and the way that things worked out and getting my life back together and uh, trying to, um, hang on, <laughs> just trying to, you know, take care of me um, so that I can be the kind of mom I need to be. Now, my weight. My weight is one of the reasons why I'm not on camera very much. I have gained a lot of weight back from my weight loss journey. If you're new here, I have um, four years ago, four, well, it's been four and a half now, I had gastric bypass surgery. Um, I had a lot of um, health conditions and the medicines that I was taking created some weight gain. Well, they got me on another medicine and I started gaining too. Um, gaining again. And on top of that, I'm stress eating. Um, you know, I'm going through all of the, you know, poor pitiful me situation. <laughs> and yes, I do have on my gown. I do. I'm getting ready. It's got owls and little night. It, I'm a night owl. If y'all been around for any time period of time, yep, I'm a night owl. I got my gown on. I mean, I'm just doing my hair, my makeup. I mean, what, do y'all get dressed up to do that? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I can't, guys. That's just too much trouble. So, I took a shower, I washed my hair, and I'm just staying comfortable while I work on my hair. Is that bad? You think I shouldn't be doing this? Should I not do this? I didn't even think about it. I mean, like, it's not like I'm naked. It's just a gown. And it's just a fun little wear on the house kind of situation. It's not even, you know, uh, let me see. I mean, it's not, it's not like it's a negligee or anything. <laughs> it's just one of my fun little things I throw on while I'm getting ready, you know. Uh, I have a couple of them. They're soft. They're, um, they're, I guess you could call them a lady style, but they're just, you know, they're just, um, pullovers and, um, they're really great to wear while, um, you know, you're getting ready after a shower or whatever. Gosh, I thought that was so normal. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not normal, but I thought it was. Okay, let's see here. But yeah, so, I hope you guys can forgive me. I hope that you'll send me some positive juju because Lord knows I need it. I mean, like, I have just been... It seems like I've had one bad experience after another over the last five, six years, something like that. And, I mean, I know that I'm supposed to learn from it and grow from it. And I will say I'm alive and I'm thriving. I'm thriving. I'm not, you know, I'm not totally give up. If it was, 
I wouldn't be sitting here even trying, you know. But I, I can say that, you know, I, I am trying. And you're my friends. And because you're my audience, um, I thought that it's kind of only fair to share with you guys kind of the things that I have been going through, dealing with, you know, that sort of thing. And, of course, I'm leaving out so much. But, um, everybody in this situation deserves their privacy too, right? So, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I always part my hair on the side. So, I'm going to pull it apart. And Izzy's trying to go outside. She's begging me. Do you hear her? <laughs> She's begging me. She's like, Mama, Mama, I want to go outside. You've been sitting there for 45 minutes. Okay. Let me go let her out and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. <laughs> um, so, she went out and she did her little jobs. Sweet thing that she is. Um, she has um, been being sick a lot lately. If you are um, new, you would not know that I have a Yorkie named Izzy, and she will be 14 on December 13th. So I've had her her whole life, um, and I do absolutely, um, I adore her. And when somebody says, oh, this is like my child. No, it's not like she's my, ch she's my child. She is my child. <laughs> There's no doubt. <laughs> um, she See my hair, how much smoother it's been now? I mean, I'm sure you've seen me in the past when it's been really bushy, you know? But it's been doing pretty well, especially since I got it, you know, got it colored or highlighted. And then um, I do have a bump right there that I've got to try to iron out. Let me see. But... It's a uh, it's in a little bit better shape, mostly because the tips have been um, trimmed a bit, and so it's not as quite as shaggy looking. But um, I've just been, you know, kind of dealing with living here and focusing on what am I going to have to do to get out of here? How can I move? When and how can I move? And honestly, guys, it's like where do I want to move? <laughs> I mean, if money wasn't an object, you know, if it wasn't a situation for me, then I'd just go back to Birmingham, and I'd just hire a bunch of people to come in here and get this shit and take it up there for me. But money is a problem. <laughs> so, since money is a problem, I'm just like, you know, all right, well, you're going to have to take your time, work your way up, you know? So... And that's the only hairspray I'm putting on my hair because I don't want it to be, like, thick and voluminous. I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to feel, I want it to feel soft. I don't want it to feel sticky or anything like that. Um, I'm just doing that just to keep the humidity from hurting it quite as much. So, that's what's been going on with me. Not much fun, I can tell you that. I mean, you know, uh, big life changes or, you know, unexpected events can really, can really cause problems. And it has for me. <laughs> but, you know what, I am not at the point where I can't appreciate that there's something in my future going to happen. Because I do, I, I mean, I do believe that God, uh... When one door closes and another opens. And I, I know that's very cliche. I know it is. But I believe that. And, I mean, I don't know with Izzy being sick so much. And I know the I know what the inevitable is. I'm not, you know, it's not like I don't know. But I can just tell you that that's going to be a very difficult thing for me. That's going to be something that's completely different. Um, she... And I have been ride or die partners in crime for the last 13, nearly 14 years. So, I'm sure 
when that, uh oh, that's kind of cramped right there, isn't it? But I know that um, I'll live through it, but that's going to be a whole nother ball game for me. There. there. The way the color is right there where I've got it is a little cray cray, but it's okay. It's okay. So that's it, guys. That's all I'm doing. Yes, I got a mess behind me where I'm trying to pack up some stuff and get rid of some things. Um, yeah, so this room is a disaster. <laughs> so I know that my background is like crappy. But, you know, for now, it is what it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and do a whip and chat with you um, on my other channel soon um, where you can watch me down and paint and that sort of thing. And yeah, so I love these little lashes. Oh, I got to get that off my face. I almost forgot it where, I where my lash touched and I got... That's the best thing ever, guys. If you... Um, accidentally get some mascara anywhere, let it completely dry, and then use a spoolie that's pretty clean, you know, so you don't make a smear or anything, and you just flick it off like that right there, and then it's done, and it's all ready to go, and it's like it never happened, so tip from Kelly. <laughs> but no, that's going to be it. I am not going to put any lipstick on yet, because I'm about to go brush my teeth. Yeah, and then I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the week, or even the upcoming weekend. I know it's Labor Day weekend, and people are doing things or whatever, but I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Um, I have talked to my friends that I've made, and um, there have been some suggestions made of some things that we can do, so I guess we'll see. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just getting ready with you guys. I started late after I was doing my, my eyes and my lashes, and I thought, well, I can't do that on camera, but I could do the rest, and I could talk to them and let them know. Um, that I'm just a little crazy right now. That's all. <laughs> Just a little crazy. Just a little bit crazy. But you know what? It's okay to be crazy sometimes. As long as you come back around, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, guys, that's going to be it. I just thought you might enjoy a heart-to-heart -heart while I get ready. And, um, yeah. That's it. Pretty much. <laughs> I guess. I don't even know what to say. I'm so out of pocket. And I'm so distracted by the background and all that. But anyway, guys, I am going to go. Um, thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope that you learned a little something about me at least. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I appreciate the fact that you, if you are still listening, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, but I do. I, I mean, I, I care very much about my subscribers. So thank you so much for watching. Um, you can help me by giving me a thumbs up. If you're new, obviously, I'd love for you to subscribe if you want to. And at some point, guys, I'll be um, better at this. Um, be a better YouTuber. But for now, um, yeah, I'm going to take some time. And I'm not going to try to be forceful with videos or anything like that. I'm going to try to force myself into it because they just won't turn out very well. So, yeah. So, that's going to be it, guys. I hope that you have a great week wherever you are. I love you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.